And um, I am the guy that had this idea a couple years ago uh, that Brian Clock aptly named the Throwdown. I, uh, a couple years ago, I challenged my friend Paul Yaffe to uh, build off, and it turned into the FXR Friends Throwdown that we were at here last year. We decided to kind of to make the call that there was going to be another Throwdown, and that Throwdown was going to be Choppers this time. I want to be clear. This is absolutely positively not a competition in any way, shape, or form. It has nothing to do with who's got the best bike. It has nothing to do with whose bike is cooler than the other. Okay. This is about friendship, camaraderie, brotherhood, and custom motorcycles. That's what it's about. So, I want to introduce a couple people. Right here is Jeff Zielinski, owner of Nam's Custom Cycle Products, rigid shovelhead springer. He also owns Badlands Electric Lighting Company. James Patience, Ground Zero Customs, and his 13-year-old son. They built it together. Okay, there's a lot of history on that bike. Okay, Steve Reed, Steve's Garage, built that amazing blingy badass shovelhead. Gene Slater with that orange badass chopper right there. Gene Slater, Mitchell, South Dakota. Kind of the Black Hills too, we're kind of hoping. And if you don't know this guy by now, you're living underneath a rock. Ari Levenbaum from the Law Tigers. Ari Levenbaum was riding a Paul Yaffe called the Suzy Q twin cam rigid 39 millimeter front end. The guy to his left is Tom Tom, Tom, Tom fucking Kiefer, Franklin Church Choppers. Tom Kiefer came all the way from Eastern Pennsylvania. He and Chris Callen to his left, they built those two bikes side by side, frame up, the frames were built, they did all the motor, all the transmission, they did all the bodywork paint, they did it all. They bent up those handlebars. Now, the next guy, who I just said, Chris Callen, Cycle Source Magazine. Chris Callen calls himself, uh, I'm not really a builder. You know, I, I'm just not a builder. Do me a favor, come look at this panhead and tell me he's not a builder. All right, fuck off. He's a fucking bike builder. Okay. This is Justin Ooms, local boy, Stellar Cycles. They decided to do a little traditional CFL. Right there, 113 Evo motor, rode handlebar to handlebar with him yesterday, had a blast. Now the next guy, definitely not a builder. Okay, make no mistake. But, I'll tell you what, he will give it his all, he will go 100%, he will never quit, he will never stop. That is Flash from Bikers Against Bullies, right? On his shovelhead rigid springer, kickstart only. The next man needs no introduction. Okay, probably one of my uh, one of my favorite human beings, Brian Clock, Mitchell, South Dakota. Clock works. Hey, guess what? He just doesn't make only windshields. Okay, he also knows how to build bikes. Right? He has a Paul Yaffe Originals classic frame. We don't use antique in Paul's name. He doesn't doesn't like that. And I need a place to sleep tonight. So we're calling it the classic, okay? Paul Yaffe frame, twin cam, tower, chopper right there. The next two crashers this year, very, very good friend of mine, Brandon Hoffman, child prodigy when it comes to motorcycles, and his big dad, Big Rick Hoffman, okay? They built this bike together, father and son, okay? There was a structural failure unrelated if you haven't heard the story, I'm here to tell you, this son of a bitch right here, don't fuck with him. Because okay. that bike tried, and it lost, That's all I have to say. And I want to say, brother, I am very, very, very happy to be standing next to you today. Um, up front, we got a couple more. This is Dustin Smoot. Dustin Smoot, this is his chopper I built for him as part of this whole thing. That is his vision. All I did was what he wanted to execute his vision. Certainly last but not least, there's this crazy bitch. Name Xavier Rear Old Prominent Cycle Works on his record right there. And 
let's not forget Jason Moot, who yeah. built this beautiful chopper and that beautiful chopper for coming up with this craziest idea. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here, brother. I love you. And I'm glad you're standing here next to me. One of my inspirations for the godfather of custom motorcycles, referred to as the motorcycle gentleman, my, my, uh, Inspiration for a lot of things. Donnie fucking Smith is right over there. And Donnie Smith. Donnie Smith has forgotten more about custom motorcycles than most people will know in their life. Okay? So pick his brain. Ed Kerr, where's Ed? Ed! Ed's Ed. over here. Ed Kerr's sitting right over there. Again, an original hamster. The guy rides hard, builds well, just does it all. So listen. Get in here and mingle. We're here because we want to inspire people. You know, this is what the deal is. If any of you change your own oil or you build your own bikes, just get in here, talk to these guys, talk about the bikes. Believe me, trust me when I say these guys love talking about their bikes.